Queen here. Life after money. Have you noticed that it's that time again, that time of year that comes around about this time when everybody goes mad shopping. The shops are full of Christmas stuff, fireworks, uh, Halloween stuff. Um, it's not worth going into town on a Saturday at this time of the year. I avoid it because everybody seems to be in a frenzy um, to buy more and more stuff. Well, I don't go for that at all. So I keep out of the town on a Saturday. But uh, what I want to talk about is why do people just follow everybody else and do what everybody else does? I don't. <laughs> I'm a bit of an oddball actually. <laughs> I do what I want to do. <laughs> Ever since I left school and started to work, I've made the decisions all the way through life about what I want my life to be. So I haven't gone with the flow. I haven't followed all the sheep. I have done what I have wanted to do. I wanted to leave home at 18, so I left home. I wanted to earn my own living, so I earned my own living. I've worked from age 15 up to 59, so I've worked all that time. Um, yeah, I, I got a flat, uh, looked after myself and decided where I wanted to work, who I wanted to be with, uh, where I wanted to spend my time and so basically I've decided what I wanted to do with my life and it has worked out pretty much as I expected. Um, from an early age I knew I was never going to have children. It was just not in my makeup and I never have. Um, I always thought I might get married but then there's a big possibility that I probably wouldn't get married. So I haven't. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, something that everybody has control over actually and I've always wanted to control my life um, but a lot of people don't really know how to control their life so what I want to say is look inside yourself look at what you want to do and don't be influenced by outside what's going on around you Yes, I was influenced in the 60s. I was a child growing up in the 60s. I was influenced by fashion um, and uh, makeup, keeping up with friends and all that kind of stuff, you know, fitting in with the crowd I was then. But then, of course, I grew up. And then I realised at, at the age of 18 that, you know, I didn't have to do what everybody else did. So I just did my own thing, basically. Um, I've always lived with an attitude of gratitude. Um, and I think that's a good, a good rule to follow. Never wanted what anybody else had. Because why would I? You know, I am looking after myself. Um, I've been happy with what I've done, what I've got, where I've been. Um, so why would I want to copy um, anybody else? You know, people have made more money than me, lots, lots more money than me. I have had um, a, a job where I've earned enough, enough to keep my life happy, enough to buy what I've wanted to buy. Um, I've ended up in a quite a good place, you know, because of my hard working and budgeting my income. 
So I, I've ended up, you know, quite comfortable with a house, um, anything I want really, nice car, holidays. But it's all done through me making my own decisions. I can't turn around and blame somebody else about the... I've got in a few fixes in my time, you know. I've been in bad places in my time. I've been in the wrong relationships in my time. But I, I've never turned around and said it's somebody else's fault. It's always been my fault because I know I am in control of my life. Uh, yeah, I've had some bad relationships, <laughs> two in particular, you know, three years each, and I've thought, oh God, why am I doing this? You know, I need to get out of here. And so I did. I got out. Um, I can't blame anybody else for picking the wrong person to get fixed up with, you know, to, to mix in with. It was my fault. <laughs> Why did I choose that person? But we all make mistakes and thankfully I have learnt from my mistakes. <laughs> and now I choose to stay single <laughs> because it's a lot less hassle. <laughs> oh dear. So I've not missed out. You know, I've learnt a lot from life, from people, from working, from travelling around, I've learnt from that. Um, why am I not bothered about not being able to spend lots of money? I can't spend lots of money because I don't have lots of money. But the money I do have, I make the best of and enjoy what I've got. I don't hanker after you know, lots of possessions, material, I'm not materialistic. Materialistic people do not impress me. People with loads of money who flash the cash, who flash fancy cars, who brag about what they've got, what they've done, where they've been. I'm not interested. I'm not impressed. <laughs> It's okay for them if they want to do that. They do it. You know, you've got to be, I think, at peace with yourself. And I am. I'm at peace with myself because I have ended up exactly where I want to be. So, think about your own future. Think about where you want to be. Think of a plan on how to get there. Uh, and follow that dream but don't make it pie in the sky um, and make it um, oh don't think about how I can uh, be better than anybody else be because you can't you're not better than anybody else <laughs> you're only as good as the life you make it <laughs> so make your own life i'm going to shut up now because i'm going to waffle if i don't so, <laughs> so make your own life build your own life be your own person do it for you and nobody else okay bye